Hey guys, Steven here. Um, I'm going to come at you with a uh, rebuild of the rear diff in the E-Revo brushless. Um, I was out bashing and had a couple of pretty hard landings. And uh, one of them was pretty bad, landed on the back pretty bad. Um, so anyways, I've noticed the diff has started to click. Um, I broke the spur gear. Uh, never seeing that happen. The spur gear broke. It, uh, busted, uh, the rear chassis brace there. And also, bent one of the end links here. And that's, uh, RPM. So anyways, um, to get started on this, is what you're going to need to do is I've already removed the screws. So, you're going to need to remove the screw from the top of the shock and from the link here and then there's two screws here the battery wires in the way uh, there's two here uh, you don't need to take those all the way out just uh, up enough and then there are three back here there is one here one over here and one right here um, remove those then there is two on the bottom there right there and then this thing will pull out. We'll show you here. Get the camera mounted back on and get. So this will pull out. This will come off this whole assembly. And then this will just pull off like so. So we can set the car aside. And let's see here. So, I've already taken these off here. And so, what you need to do is the output pieces here. Get some light. You need to line up so they can go through that slot there on both sides. So, just kind of turn it and then push it up here. See if I can get this like so. There we go. And you can see all the nice dirt and a lot of grease in there because one of these bearings have went out. So we will see. So there is rear diff and it looks like it's going to be this bearing here um, that's gone out quite a few times so let's go ahead and take these off and see what's going on here There's four in here. Try to get this in the camera view. There's two. There's three. Okay, so there it is, and then this will pop up here, and it's pretty dirty in there, really dirty. So, there's a bearing on this side, that bearing feels okay, I'll pull those off, and yes, this feels pretty loose here, so, there's a little set screw there that's got to come out. This will just pull off. And yes, this front one here. This 
looks like it's bent. I'll pop this out. Use a screwdriver here. Pop this out. Yeah, there you go, right there. So, as you can see, it uh, chewed up that gear pretty good. And there's a piece of the bearing still stuck on there. And yeah, there's little pieces inside. As you can see down in there, it's all broken and there's pieces. Little ball bearings all over the place. So, that's what we're going to do. The parts here. Let's see. Extra dry line. So we have a new one here, uh, ring and pinion, it's uh, part number 5379X, so we have that, um, I have new center drive lines, so I'm going to replace those, and then the bearings here, let's see, the bearings, Try to keep all this stuff organized in here, uh, yes. I have two new bearings here. So, there are the parts there. And I'm going to get it cleaned up and I will be right back with you. Okay, guys, so I have uh, went ahead and cleaned these up here. Focus in. Clean these up here. Um, so, uh, here's all the crap that came out of there. Um, the front bearing, this was the one that was on the inside, and this was the front one. So as soon as I pulled that out, it just fell apart. And I use a, use a Q-tip just to kind of get down inside here, um, just to get all the junk out of there and all the little ball bearings. Um, and then the bearings that uh, go on the side of here, uh, these ones are still good. Um, I just replaced these the last time I did that, and these ones I've never had an issue with. Um, it's these bearings, and I believe, don't hold me to it, I'll put a, a, what they are in the description. I believe these are 5x12s. Um, I've got these from the hobby shop. These are upgraded ones, and uh, usually when I go to the hobby store, I, I always buy extra parts. Um, so I've had, uh, I've had this sitting around, and uh, kind of like you guys saw the my bag of goodies here, um, you know, some extra, just with one hand, extra um, cups, drive lines, um, spur gears, just, you know, extra stuff that I need. Um, so, I'm going to set the camera down here, and uh, get back focused in on this. So, I'm going to go ahead and let's prop this up a little more here. I'm going to go ahead and open up. I've already removed, there's four screws that go inside here. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And now you want to save, there's a little rubber gasket right there. You want to save that because the new ring and pinion does not come with this rubber gasket here. So, go ahead and put that aside. Now, this didn't get tore up too much, but it comes with a new one, so go ahead and replace it. And when you take these off here, be careful because there are little rubber, little like rubber washers um, around there, as you can see there. So, uh, that, that just comes off of there, and we'll just set that aside. And these here, the spider gears, um, you got to be careful because there's a one, two, three, four, five. There's about six parts in here. So just push up on the bottom of this here. Zoom this back out a little bit here. So just go ahead and push up on this. And you'll see that starting to come out. Now, there's two little flat pieces on the side. Grab it by that, 
and go ahead and pick that out. So these are the spider gears. And how these go together is there's a flat piece here. This camera to focus in. There's a flat piece here. Then there's a spider gear. And then you got your T-bar here. And you got a, a rod that runs through the middle there. So, um, these here, uh, these look, these look fine. So I'm not going to replace those. I, I have extras, um, but they look fine. So I don't need to replace them. So that just goes together like that. And it all sits inside here. And go ahead and, uh, push this out here. Go ahead and there's another little rubber uh, O-ring washer around this too. Go ahead and inspect the inside of this thing and uh, inspect these these all these gears while you're in here, just to uh, be sure. So is what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, kind of clean all these all these parts up. Um, as you can see here, how I've done that is uh, here's kind of a sorry about that guys focus out here so here's kind of an overview of everything so you got your spider gears um, that go inside here um, these two one goes in here the other one goes on onto there and uh, there are little o-rings in there so don't lose those because this Traxxas part number 5379X, the uh, ring and pinion gear, only comes with a ring and pinion gear. That's it. Does not come with the little O-rings, doesn't come with the gasket, the screws, anything. So it's just those two parts right there. Um, so make sure you keep everything. And so there's four bearings total that go to this. And that is a, a look at everything there. So I'm going to clean these up clean all these parts up and get these open and everything and then I'm going to show you when I come back how to uh, I'm going to shim the diff um, that prevents these from getting stripped out and the diffs blowing so uh, I will be back and show you how this thing goes all back to